Hey, what if? Consider that question, what if? And then consider continuing it with something in your life. I just finished reading a book that I've mentioned before, I think in the videos I have. Um, uh, I know I have in my posts. Uh, it's a book called Smart Leadership by Mark Miller. Mark Miller uh, has been with Chick-fil-A for many years. And um, gosh, it was a great book. And I'm, a, I'm using so many things from it and have just gotten so many great ideas about leadership from that book. And, um, and he, he has four keys to leadership, you know, that I, I'm not going to give you those right now, maybe in another video or a post or something. But one of the things he talks about is curiosity, you know, and fueling your curiosity and how important that is for leaders to do. And that question, what if, is a great way to consider the concept of fueling your curiosity. You know, what if we did this? What if we did it? And not allowing yourself to limit the answers. Not allowing yourself to say, oh, that'll never work. That could never happen. Don't do that. Allow the curiosity to explode and to grow and to develop. And so, and when you do that, you let people in your organization, you let yourself use that curiosity to come up with answers that you would never have considered before. You know, I, you've all probably heard the statement, curiosity killed the cat, right? I have liked, you know, ever, ever since hearing that, I've watched my the cats in my family. I'm not a big cat person, but I've watched the cats that my family has had. Um, I guess I have them too. And I've seen what that means. You know, they're so curious about anything. You start scratching the door, you do whatever, and they have to go see what it is, but it could lead them into danger, right? Well, the problem is, is with that statement is, it usually doesn't. What it does is it leads them to go find things that they never would have considered, never would have found before. And so I've started to think of that concept of curiosity killed the cat as really a, a real negative and a real bad thing. I think about the concept that lack of curiosity killed the coach, killed the team, killed the success, killed the whatever. If you do not have curiosity and you do not then foster curiosity in yourself and in others, you're going to stagnate. You, th this pool right here that I'm next to is a wave pool. All right? It does not stay still. They have set it up in such a way that it will continually bring waves. When uh, I think I did, um, was it the video last time? Oh, it wouldn't have been last time because I'm doing these in succession. But one of the videos, or maybe it was in a post, might have been uh, my podcast. I talked about this concept of drinking uh, from a running, from running water as opposed to from a stagnant pool. You know, And so stagnant pools... You know, what happens? Bacteria grows. Things start to get in them that make it not healthy, not good. Well, think about your own curiosity. The more curious you are and the more you push the limits of your curiosity, the better off you're going to be at growing and developing and becoming your best. Hopefully the noise of the kid over here swimming isn't too distracting. Anyway, so understand that this concept of curiosity is critical for us in our quest for success, in our quest to be the best that we can be at anything that we are seeking to be, you know, that good at. Another thing about curiosity, you know, I remember um, Phil Jackson, great NBA coach of the Chicago Bulls and the Lakers and all. He used to give his players at the start of season, he'd give them all each book, normally a novel of some sort or a fiction book because he wanted to fuel their imaginations and help them, you know, really just let their imaginations go. Athletes need to be able to have great imaginations. So again, they don't stagnate so they can really kind of just create the whatever could happen for them. And so I think it's an important element for us to maintain that curiosity, okay? The question, what if, is a great question for us to ask ourselves and our teams, any organizations that we're part of, what if this could be? What if this were to be this way and could become this way? And that curiosity will allow you to grow and develop and really start to become 
the best you're capable of becoming at whatever it is that you're seeking to become the best you're capable of becoming at. So ask that question, but ask others like it. Fuel your curiosity and really see where that takes you. Talk to you again next time.